This is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your iTop Daily Report for Monday, November 13th, 2017. And this report will talk about the Keurig kerfuffle in the age of politically weaponized corporatism. Keurig drops ads from Hannity. Deplorables drop Keurig. So Hannity supporters are essentially destroying Keurig coffee maker over at So Sean Hannity recently interviewed the embattled GOP Alabama Senate nominee Roy Moore on his radio show and somewhat confronted him regarding the allegations that he had inappropriate sexual conduct with underage girls and media matters, of course, being media matters, the progressive attack dog that utilizes the tactic of attempting to intimidate advertisers to not support mostly conservative shows launched into another round of attack against Hannity, accusing him of enabling pedophilia by not confronting Roy Moore hard enough. And by seeming to say it was okay to have sex with minors if it was consensual. So the unfounded and unwarranted charge is what Media Matters is using to scare, intimidate, cajole advertisers to remove their ad revenue from the Hannity show in what seems to be, uh, well, it seems to be a blatant attempt to shut down another conservative voice. And the effort is being conducted by an organization that has a tax-exempt status, an advantage in the market that its profit-making competitors simply don't have. Media Matters' efforts actually bore fruit this time with Keurig sending the message to a man who virtue signaled his outrage at pedophilia and again accusing Hannity of enabling and endorsing pedophilia. Angelo. Thank you for your concern and for bringing this to our attention. We worked with our media partner and Fox News to stop our ad from airing during the Sean Hannity show. And don't forget to check out the article, which is in the top right corner there, uh, that this is based on if you're watching YouTube. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you'll see the article link in the description above. So this story to me, this is about the decision by large corporations who have tremendous market manipulation power to use its economic and market power to support and advance the status progressive agenda. Now, this story to me is about finding out the real market power that conservative consumers may or may not have in response to the corporate progressive cabal, as I'll loosely call it. Sean Hannity, he interviewed a man under investigation for potentially having inappropriate sexual encounters with one underage girl and two young women. And uh, even as I, as, I, as I do this video, more news is breaking. And I got to tell you, more and more, looks, it's looking like maybe uh, Roy Moore. Yeah, the evidence is mounting against you, buddy. But be that as it may. may back to this story. So he could have pushed more harder, but conflating an endorsement of pedophilia with not being hard enough on a man who faces allegations, not convictions, a man who has denied all allegations to date, is a transparent attempt to exploit pedophilia for your own political ends. And again, there is breaking news going on. There's more evidence coming out, but that evidence that may be coming out was not the evidence that Sean Hannity had when he interviewed Roy Moore this past Friday and Saturday, or this past Friday. This is what Media Matters is doing, and this is what these corporations, which are... To me, they're either status progressive controlled or they're weak before the status progressive attack dogs. Now, from what I've seen, the case against Roy Moore, as I've said, it, it looks pretty damning. It's getting more and more. I'm not convicting the guy, but man, I don't know. I don't know. So I, 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 I can't convict this man without way more evidence than has been presented so far. But even as I'm doing this video, apparently there's more stuff which I haven't even seen yet. 
Uh, and uh, as, as far as I know up to this point, it's that four m- women have suddenly come forward to claim that this man did sexually inappropriate things with them when they were either underage or are inappropriately young for a man in his 30s to be pursuing. The precedent being set here is that we convict people before we know the full facts, but then that precedent is consistently already followed. And I, and I want to say, be it from progressives assuming the worst about their conservative enemies or conservatives assuming the worst about their progressive enemies, it's kind of happening. Now that the mega corporations have decided to put their money where their politics is, the cost of offering up any thought, any opinion that falls outside of the very, very narrow political perspective of these corporate owners whose views are, are, are becoming more and more rigid and more and more narrow is becoming increasingly high. Without the continued rise of grassroots crowdfunding for alternative voices, such as which is offered on this website, uh, isate.tv, the corporations and billionaire sponsors, such as in the case of Media Matters and even its conservative counterpart, Media Research Center, will be the sole arbiters of the voice that you get to hear in the news media marketplace. And another wrinkle to this story, uh, Roy Moore is now coming out swinging against the Washington Post, where the stories originally appeared. Roy Moore said this past Sunday night, November 12th, at a campaign stump, the Washington Post published another attack on my character and reputation because they are desperate to stop my political campaign. These attacks said I was with a minor child and are false and untrue and for which they will be sued. And during the speech, Moore also addressed the allegations in the Washington Post story and denied that any of them were true. My name is Paul Gordon, and this has been your iTalk Daily Report from iState.tv. Be sure you like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iStateTV and select See First in your news feed under the follow tab. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure you subscribe to us at youtube.com slash iState. Hit that big red subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell right next to it to get daily notifications when we post new videos.